Last spring, just after NASA granted a contract to SpaceX, the primary engineer working on Blue Origin's lunar landing project declared his intention to leave the company. And as if that wasn't enough, 17 more prominent leaders of Blue Origin resigned their positions to take jobs with other space agencies. And by now, this departure is clear that it is not a coincidence. So, why are lead engineers leaving Blue Origin? And how is this going to affect the company? Welcome to the Tesla News Hangout. Today, we are going to look at why NASA and Blue Origin's top engineers left to join SpaceX. So, stay tuned as we look into this. Since Jeff Bezos, the billionaire founder of Amazon, took a trip to space in the middle of last year, the firm has lost some of its best employees. According to CNBC's findings, at least 17 of Blue Origin's most senior leaders and engineers departed the company weeks after Jeff Bezos' spaceflight. Two engineers, Nitin Aurora and Lauren Lyons announced they have taken on new roles with Elon Musk's SpaceX and Firefly Aerospace, respectively. Other employees have been making changes to their LinkedIn profiles over the same period citing their resignations. Those who declared that they were leaving Blue Origin did not provide an explanation for their decision. However, employee reviews on Glassdoor commonly cite dissatisfaction with senior management in a sluggish, bureaucratic company. But what did Blue Origin have to say about this? A spokesperson from the company gave an interview to CNBC in which they emphasized Blue Origin's growth. In 2020, Blue Origin hired an additional 850 people, in 2021, they brought on an additional 650 people. In point of fact, throughout the course of the preceding three years, they have risen by a factor of four. He said they also continue to occupy major leadership positions in the domains of manufacturing, quality, engine design, and vehicle design, respectively. And that they are now in the process of building a strong team. Engineers working on Blue Origin's lunar lander program were among those who decided to leave the company. The attempt by Bezos Business to gain a lucrative development contract for the agency's human landing system program was foiled in April when NASA granted a deal worth $2.9 billion to SpaceX. In spite of the fact that the Government Accountability Office dismissed Blue Origin's appeal over NASA's decision a while back, the company has continued to step up its efforts to be included in the HLS program. Blue Origin engaged in a public relations offensive against SpaceX's Starship rocket before filing a complaint with the federal court against NASA. It is estimated that it employs around 4,000 individuals across the country. And what did insiders have to say about the mass exodus? According to various persons familiar with the event who spoke with CNBC, full-time workers of Blue Origin were given a monetary incentive of $10,000 10 days following Jeff Bezos' spaceflight on July 20. One of the officials of the corporation confirmed the incentive and said that it was provided as a thank you for the achievement of transporting people into space. But according to two different sources, the incentive was considered internally as a method for the firm's leadership to persuade employees considering leaving the company after the launch to remain in their positions. And how true can this be? Well, according to Glassdoor, the level of satisfaction felt by Blue Origin's employees about the company's leadership is much lower than that of other prominent space firms. According to Glassdoor's study, just 15% of Blue Origin's workers are satisfied with CEO Bob Smith. This is in contrast to the 91% of SpaceX workers who are satisfied with Elon Musk and the 77% of United Launch Alliance workers who are satisfied with Tori Bruno. And how is this affecting the company's contracts at large? The Human Landing System program plays a significant role in NASA's Artemis plan, which aims to bring humans back to the moon's surface. In the year 2020, NASA granted nearly $1 billion worth of HLS concept development contracts to four different companies. SpaceX, $135 million, Dynetics, $253 million, Latos, $579 million, and Blue Origin, $779 million. After that, the space agency planned on awarding contracts for developing new hardware to two of the aforementioned companies within 2021. However, because Congress did not approve the total amount of funding requested for HLS, NASA decided to just award SpaceX the contract, which will cost around $2.9 billion. And as you would expect, Blue Origin felt like this was a blow to the chest. The work that was being done on the program by NASA was halted. At the same time, the United States Government Accountability Office considered the complaints that had been raised by Blue Origin and Dynetics. But still, the Government Accountability Office, GAO, 
which issued its verdict on July 30, 2021, agreed with NASA's assessment. The battle between Blue Origin and NASA reached a new level on August 16 when Blue Origin filed a lawsuit against NASA in the United States Court of Federal Claims. But why are employees not satisfied with Blue Origin's CEO? Since 2017, when Bezos selected Smith to be the CEO of Blue Origin, the business has struggled to deliver on several key initiatives. When Jeff Bezos first started Amazon in the year 2000, he had a vision for the company that included a future in which millions of people are living and working in space to benefit Earth. However, the last year's resignation of Blue Origin's chief operations officer brought to light that Bezos' vision has been set back so much. Bezos was one of the first crew members to launch into space on Blue Origin's reusable New Shepard rocket. But despite the maiden crewed flight of the New Shepard went off without a hitch, the management of Blue Origin had originally planned that the rocket would begin flying people by the year 2017. But now, the reusable next-generation rocket known as New Glenn is in the process of being constructed by Blue Origin, although it has not yet been launched. After having been slated for its maiden voyage in the year 2020, the first New Glenn won't likely be airborne until the fourth quarter of 2022, according to projections. This is the case despite the fact that Blue Origin was awarded $255.5 million by the United States Air Force to help construct the rocket. However, the Pentagon did not select New Glenn for any contracts over the previous year. Instead, it awarded multiple contracts to SpaceX and ULA, totaling billions of dollars. And when Blue Origin made the announcement that New Glenn would be delayed, they mentioned this as a significant setback. So, how have Blue Origin's future endeavors been affected by this setback? The BE-4 rocket engine, which is the company's stable of rocket engines and marks the company's third major program, will power Blue Origin's new Glenn rocket when it launches later this year. According to remarks made in the past, the BE-4 engines manufactured by the business were to be ready for flight as of the year 2017. But according to a story published by Ars Technica earlier this month, after four years, Blue Origin has not yet delivered its first flight engines owing to problems with the development process and a shortage of testing gear. But the business anticipates being able to launch two BE-4 engines by the end of the year. In addition, BE-4 engines are crucial outside of Blue Origin since ULA just struck an agreement to use the engines to power its Vulcan rockets. ULA chose Blue Origin over Aerojet Rocketdyne as its supplier. Therefore, Blue Origin is now the engine provider for Vulcan rockets. BE-4 engines manufactured by Blue Origin are anticipated to be the missing link in the launch readiness of ULA's first Vulcan rocket, which is scheduled to take place before the end of this year. Over the past two decades, Jeff Bezos has used the proceeds from the sale of Amazon shares to help support Blue Origin at a rate of at least $1 billion annually. And many people working in the space industry had high hopes that when Bezos stepped down as CEO of Amazon, he would dedicate more time and energy to his own space company. But that is yet to be quantified on paper and on results. But in the meantime, SpaceX is having a successful run thus far. But what do you think about Blue Origin employees moving to SpaceX? Is this a win for SpaceX? Please leave your thoughts in the comments section below. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel Tesla News Hangout, where we talk about Elon Musk, Tesla, and SpaceX. While, you are at it. Hit the bell. So you never miss any of our videos, as more exciting ones like this are on the way. I'll see you at the next one.